This is nest 44, which was laid eight weeks ago. Hatchlings emerged three nights ago, right on schedule. It is now time for us to excavate this nest to obtain data for the FWC and to save any hatchlings that might be trapped. As I dig, I'm careful, gently feeling for any differences in the texture of the sand. I can feel that I've reached the first hurdles. The limpness of their bodies tells me they are dead. Dead turtle after dead turtle is pulled out of the egg chamber and passed to Caitlin to get counted. The smell is horrible. Death permeates the air. I'm only getting dead hatchlings. The lineup of the dead hatchlings is growing. Sometimes things go wrong with nests and the turtles don't make it. They hatched, but why didn't they emerge from the nest? I didn't see any fire ants or crabs, so I wonder if being trapped in the sand caused them to be cooked by the hot sun. Okay, so I reached a big section of the eggs. So the turtles actually hatched and actually went above the eggs and they were trying to get out, but couldn't. So that explains why I'm just now getting to the eggshells because the eggshells were actually below the hatchlings. A live turtle! Hey! Oh my god, barely. So right here we have a loggerhead hatchling. This guy is barely moving, but you can still clearly tell that he is alive. Some slight movement, but he's very weak. He's been trapped down there for a few days, actually, with all of his brothers and or sisters. We put the freed hatchling in a bucket that serves as a holding area until it is released. And not long after. Here's another live hatchling. Uh, he's a little bit more active than his sibling. Um, so we're actually gonna put him in the bucket to join his sibling. By counting the number of eggshells, we can determine the number of hatchlings that made it out on their own. This nest had 85 dead turtles, making it one of the least successful nests of the season in terms of hatchling survival. While it is difficult to see all of these dead hatchlings, knowing that they are sources of nutrients for the ecosystem puts it into proper perspective. By placing the dead turtles and eggshells back in the nest, we allow nature to take its course. 95 eggshells have been counted. So with the 85 dead hatchlings and the two sea turtles we saved today, we determined that only eight turtles had emerged from the nest on their own. Now rescued, these two turtles receive a helping hand to make it to the next step in life's journey. Come on, little guy. Some need a little encouragement. <laughs>